Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox 2 and today we're going to be figuring out how many how many licks to get to the center of a lollipop. No, 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 not that one, not that one. What I do for a Klondike bar- no, uh, we're getting closer though. We're figuring out how many moons we can fit around Earth. I mean, uh, uh, uh what? Shut up, Klondike bars are amazing. Okay, so we're gonna- God, I could really use some ice cream. Quarantine's got me not buying anything unessential, but ice cream's pretty essential, so I think next time I hit the store, there's gonna be ice cream. Mmm, yummy. You should support me on Patreon in the description or join my Discord so that I can afford that ice cream. Okay, anyways, let's get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one moon. Can Earth handle one moon? Let's start really close. Let, let's, let's, so that we have maximum moon spacing. Now I have to place them by hand. It's no fun if we don't. We gotta place as many moons as possible. And we wanna, we don't wanna be like, oh, I already screwed up. My first moon was too close, but nothing hit Earth. Nothing has hit Earth yet. So, did I really screw up? No, I just gave Earth a very, oh. Damn. Okay, so that was a little bit too close, so. Zero. 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 Fantastic. Great. We, we, we figured it out. Good job. Okay, so now we're gonna get the moon. We're gonna try to get four moons in the same orbit. <laughs> because, you know what? That would be a little bit cool. We're gonna try to get one here. One here. One here. One here, and as long as they're perfectly spaced out, it should be fine. The keyword being perfectly. If it's not perfect, they'll just die. Wait, it happened again. It just freaking died. Why? Why does it die? <laughs> I don't understand. Is there something it doesn't like about this simulation? Okay, let's try it again, but we'll, we'll s let it start, and I guess we'll just have to very carefully slow it down. Once it hits zero, it's not able to start again for some reason. That's really odd, but look at that. We actually did it. We've got four moons that are just perfectly orbiting, and they're an exact distance away from each other. So they won't actually fall out. Um, if we look at their motion vectors here, I'm really curious how that speed, the speed is changing. They're starting to lose balance. So just very tiny inconsistencies, but they were perfect. Remember that they were actually perfectly. S oh, and it's going back up again. Maybe it is stable. I don't know. It looks like it's wobbling a little bit. I'm I'm curious. You see this actually this looks pretty reasonable to me. Oh, oh. Oh, did you see that? Oh my god. That was really it did not take long for that to fall apart. Wow, wow, that was so fast, I barely even noticed it. Okay, let's try that again. Um, see, all the inaccuracy of the simulation slowly adds up until eventually it just can't handle it anymore and they just end up collapsing. Because technically this is a perfect system, it should not ever collapse. Um, an impossible system but that's besides the point. So as you can see, they're starting to get a little bit off here. They're going out and in and out. But now what we can see is a really big one, so this is way off now. So as then consistency grows, the gravitational pull on each other varies even more, which causes the inconsistency to grow greater, and then eventually it compounds enough and slowly gets more extreme 
and it only takes a little bit of a wobble for everything to fall apart. So not quite yet. Give it a few more seconds. Last time it came so quickly, I did not expect it to be that violent. Okay. Doesn't look like... Maybe, maybe it was a one-time thing. No, it's gonna happen again. It's not going to stay stable forever. We know this. I know this game well enough. I'm actually impressed how long it's staying, though. Now, obviously, if we put the moons further away from Earth, this would be almost perfect. I don't think it would ever really fall out of place. Uh, the fact that they're so close to the Earth and to each other, there's just so many different variables here at play. But still super impressive. Honestly, oh, did you see that? This one is going a tiny bit faster. And it's getting closer to this one. Maybe it's my eyes. Maybe it's not actually, but I feel like this one just fell a tiny bit out of place. Uh, I wish I wish I was 100% sure, but I, I feel like it just wobbled. Maybe not. Maybe my eyes just deceive me. Look at that. Man, you would have a lot of trouble. There would be so many times in the day where there's an eclipse. <laughs> Especially considering they're all flat. Here we are. That's it. It's fallen out. And that's what happens. One of them slows down a tiny bit, and then the rest of them follow. You can actually see that the one that's furthest to the back is closest, and then... Things are going to get bad because they all share the same orbit. Looks like this guy is going to get hit on both sides. No, it's actually the outer one because it's being pulled by the ones in the back. It's being slowed down. And it doesn't help that Earth now is getting pulled this way, which messes with all of their orbits. There's our first collision. All of the fragments from this are going to go ahead and pepper Earth. Wow. Okay, so we've done some experimentation now, and the question is, what if we add more moons? Like I said at the beginning of this video, how many moons can we fit? I mean, four is great and all, but what if we do this? Let's go ahead and get... more is this perfect no but I'm gonna get it perfect so how am I gonna get these perfect well knowing that they all have to be the same distance away from earth all we have to do is go to the distance set these both to be the same basically so we'll do 13,000 and negative 13,000 and we know that the other ones are exactly oh why are these off huh it didn't save it perfectly now that's interesting that's very interesting look at that that is that is a lot of moons <laughs> We could just get them a little bit closer. Okay, so they're all the exact same distance away from the Earth. They're all evenly spaced. I mean, this is pretty intense. Square, square, they all make a star. There are a lot of different spots for there to be uh, eclipses now. Now we're gonna save this. Control S, we're gonna name this eight because I don't think it's gonna work when we hit play because it didn't it the other time. They're so close together now though, if they just instantly fell apart, I'd get it. <laughs> but they shouldn't. Oh my god! Wow, that didn't take much time, but you did see there for a little bit it was stable. And since we have it saved, we can uh, play with it a bit. Let's see. Let's see if it moved them. I'm really curious about that. 
That's perfect. That's perfect. Huh. They're fine now. Look at that. Eat. All with the same exact orbit. All at the same distance. And they're already falling apart. Look at that. Yeah, there's just there's too many inconsistency. Although, look at that. Because they were all even, they all fell apart in the exact same way. We get a group of two on each side. Let's see how close these sides are. That'd be neat if they all collided in the exact same. They're actually all going to miss each other. Now there's like a closer group that's actually getting very close to Earth. Now there's a further group. Look at that. That's insane! What on earth? <laughs> that is so neat. I honestly did not think we were gonna get something like that. Look at that. Perfect pattern, throwing lines of debris out, creating an entire ring around Earth. Wow! That is so cool. I'm, I'm honestly very impressed by that. It's like beauty and chaos, like, it's very chaotic in one sense, but in another sense, it it's very orderly. Look, all the sides still, two, 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 they're all so similar, forming a square, and now they're all coming close to the earth again, and they all just get super close and rip apart. That is insanity. <laughs> How long will this continue? That is actually magnificent. Oh, this one really fell out now. That's it. And it's gonna get crushed between Earth and another moon. Oh. Wow. I am actually super impressed for how long that held up. Now it's kind of a triangle. <laughs> That's what happens when you remove a side. But, wow, that was really neat. No, I'm, I'm very happy I tried that. That was just really quite interesting. Well, guys, I guess we answered the question. The simulation can handle four in the same orbit um, pretty well. Pretty well. Eight is just too many. If you want to try it yourself with other numbers, go right ahead. It'll take a bit of time, but, you know, fun. See you all next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the Discord. It's all in the description. And thank you to my patrons who keep the channel running. Peace out.